Let me speak for myself here. I want to be clear so the American people understand what's going on. There's a Senate vote today to raise the debt limit. Traditionally, it needs only 50 votes. I was — we were informed by our Republican friends that they had to be all Democrat votes. They weren't going to help. I said, OK, we'll provide 50 votes. The definition in the Democrats, we have the votes. The Democrats are willing to step up and stop this economic catastrophe if Senate Republicans will just get out of the way. But our Senate Republican friends are planning to block the vote to raise the, demo, the debt limit by using a, the procedural power called the filibuster. To say that in plain English, it means <clears throat> you have to have 60 votes <clears throat> when there's a filibuster. 60 votes, a supermajority, instead of 50 to get anything done. It's not right, and it's dangerous. The reason we have to raise the debt limit is, in part, because of the policies of the previous administration, which incurred nearly $8 trillion in bills in four years, some of which Democrats voted for. More than a quarter of all the debt now outstanding. We had to raise the debt limit three times when Donald Trump was president. And the Republicans moved to raise it each time, and each time the Democrats supported the effort to raise the debt. But now Republicans won't raise the debt limit, despite being responsible for what the debt limit, why it has to be raised, for the bills that are outstanding. They won't raise it enough through, uh, if they've done, we're going to be defaulting on a debt that would lead to self-inflicted wounds that risk the market tanking and wiping out retirement savings and costing jobs.